Hello viewers, welcome to another project demo by Project Maker. In this video, I will be demonstrating my new project which is Block Generator using Llama 2 model. Llama 2 model is developed by Facebook. We can use this model to write code, create poems, stories or even generate blogs using this model as we will be doing in this video. Before starting this project demo, if you are new to this channel, then hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon to watch my video first. And also don't forget to share this video to your friends and family members. Now, without wasting any time, let's move to our computer screen. As you can see, I have opened a data science and machine learning projects playlist in front of you because this video will be the part of this playlist only. Now let's move to our main project demo. So I will simply go in this tab. So this is the simple output of block generator project. I have not hosted this project on Steamgrid up till now due to large model size. That's why I am running this project in localhost as you can see. So let's explore this project. So first is beautiful title as you can see along with this beautiful emoji. Then the next option is enter block title. So normally what will be the title of our blog? then set the world limit to this blog then the target audience the target audience will be the people who will be reading your blog after that choose the model size model size of llama to model are of various sizes starting from 2 gb to 8 gb for this demonstration purpose we will be using 2.5 gb blog due to my system limitations but if your system has 8 gb 16 gb or 32 GB RAM, you can definitely use large models of 7 GB or 8 GB. It's up to you. I would like to tell you one thing about model that if you choose model of 2 GB, the accuracy of the model will be around 60 to 70%, but the response time of that model will be very high as compared to the model of 8 GB. The problem with 8 GB model is that it requires minimum 12 GB or 16 GB RAM to give you output but my system has only 8 gb of ram that's why i will be using 2 gb model or 4 gb will also work in my system so we can also use that so let's test our project so first will be enter block title so let's say my block title will be introduction to machine learning The spelling is wrong, okay, it's correct. Then let's say our limit will be keep of 200 words. And uh, then who is the target audience? The target audience are researchers, data scientists and common people. So let's this block for common people. So I will select this and choose model size. So initially I have downloaded two models which is 2.5 GB and 4.33 GB. But for this video purpose, I will simply use 2.5 GB model due to my system limitations. You can also download 8 GB model from the official website that I will share with you in the video. So now let's click on the generate button to generate blog of this title. I will simply click this generate button and let's wait for the model to generate our blog. It can take up to a minute 30 seconds or even a 2 minutes to generate your blog depending upon your system specifications. And as you can see it has simply generated a beautiful output for us. So the machine learning is a software of artificial intelligence that involves using algorithms and statistical models to enable machines to learn from data and make predictions and so on. As you can see it has generated a good amount of content for our blog. Also it took 107 seconds to generate this blog which is ok for us due, according to our system specification. If your system has very high amount of RAM then it will take less time to give the same output. So this was my entire project. Now let's explore how I created this project. So for that let's move to our destination folder. As you can see this is my destination folder which has virtual environment, app.py file which is our main python file. These are the two models and the requirements.txt file. I have already opened this folder in vs code where the program is running. So I will simply open vs code in front of you. So as you can see the VS code is open in the same folder and it has also printed the same output here along with the time taken. So let's minimize it. So this is a simple program. Before starting exploration of this program, let's check the requirements 
for this project so i will simply open requirements.txt in front of you so these are five to six requirements as you can see sentence transformers to generate doubt c transformers for the same one uvcon langchain model or say package python box and streamlit to give beautiful output so these are all requirements don't worry the, all the files that i will be using in this video will be available to you in the video description so that you can also create your blog generator project so now let's explore the project so the first is streamlit package to create a beautiful gui then second is a uh, langchain.proms import prompt template so this prompt template method is simply used for generating prompts for language model so normally when we use chat gpt we simply type something so that typing is called a prompt so this prompt template plays an important role to generate appropriate prompt and pass it to the model for getting the best output this is the reason we have used this prompt template method then let's move ahead after that i have used c transformers method from langchain.llms package so this model can generate text so the text that you saw in output is generated using this c transformers method we can use this method to generate various types of contents such as stories poems code and more as we discussed earlier then after that the next package is time so the time required for our program to execute then after that there is a link to model so let's click on this link to explore the various models of llama 2 so i will simply click on this link as you can see the link is open in front of you and this is the repo it is similar to github and you can download any of this model available in front of you and also check the size and compare it to your system requirement so suppose if you have system has 8 gb of ram then you can use this 4 gb of model which will give output in around 2 minutes so according to that you can choose any model based on your ram or memory so i have used this 2.87 gb ram and this 4.21 gb ram for this project you can use 7.16 gb ram if you have a good amount of ram in your system and if you just click on this download button then the file will start downloading as you can see it is asking me to see so if i just select this folder and just click on save the model will get start downloading as you can see but i will not download it because i have already downloaded it so just close it and let's move to our program after this link the next function is get llama to response we will explore this function later on because i have not explained this inputs to this method so let's move down then after that this is a method of set page config so page title page icon layout and collapse collapse means we don't want to add any sidebar for the website then the next is st.header which is block generator which is this header of our project i was talking about this one then the next is title text input enter block title then this is the code that will generate simply these two beautiful lines then after that we have divided the page in three different parts using call1 call2 call3 and giving st.columns as a method to them and setting the size of 555 each so the spacing will be between these three divisions will be of 55 size and in column one we will take word count and simply use text input word limit then in second time in second column we will be using a drop down menu to help user to choose between three options which is researchers data scientists and common people so i am talking about this drop down menu then after that column 3 will be similar to the column 2 which has drop down menu of two options which is 2.5 gb model and 4.33 gb model which is this model as you can see then after that a submit button and which has title generate so this is the submit button as you know so we have taken all inputs assuming the user has filled all details and he has clicked generate button then if generate button is click the code will come here if submit which means the button is click then a start time dot time dot start method will be activated which will start this timer and after that it will simply go to the method now let's go to the method and it will pass the title given by user word count audience and model size so let's go to this method so this is method which has title words 
preference of user or types of user and model size so i have simply loaded these two models in this project or let's say in this code using these two lines then model choosing so this line simply helps to choose model of 4 gb or 2 gb according to the user choice then after that this c transformer so c transformers is used to generate content so for that we have to pass proper template to it so that it can generate proper output so firstly we will pass the model so model will be the model chosen from the user choice then the type of model will be llama or llama then configuration for the model so the max new tokens so it simply gives the answer in form of tokens so the max size of each token will be 256 then the temperature so temperature is a variable that ranges from 0 to 1 higher the temperature will give you less random result and lower the size of temperature will give you randomized result so it will be more realistic and not plagiarized so that's why i have given this temperature variable as low as possible then template so this is the simple template that we will be passing to the model so the template is write a blog post on topic input text the topic that will be given by user assuming the reader is assume the reader is blog style blog style means the type of reader it is researcher data scientist or common people in our case within number of words so the number of words mentioned by user this is the prompt that we will be given into the model then after that creating the prompt so along with the prompt we have to pass the input variables also so that it can take it so we can pass this variable to prompt using this method which is prompt template input variables these are the three variables and make sure you keep the name of this variable same and passing the template to the prompt after that the prompt is ready now it's time to send our prompt to the model we can simply send this prompt to model using this line which is model it contains prompt.format block style input text equal to input text so these are the variables taken from the method name itself and make sure you keep them same number of words number of words as you can see then after this line we will be simply print the response and return the response now let's move down so this will simply return the response and also write the response in the screen after that this function will get a call which will end the time so elapsed time will be calculated by end time and start time and the time taken will be stored in this elapsed time variable then simply we will be printing this variable in command prompt also and also on the output screen which is this so this was my entire blog generator project i hope you understand the explanation very well if you face any difficulties while creating your own blog generator you can simply message me on instagram or in comment section below i would be happy to help you in this project so here comes the end of this video thanks for watching this video